more than ever in today's world thyroid disorders are surfacing alarmingly what is the reason behind the same it is not just the food but the lifestyle and the activities that we are getting involved in which leads to thyroid dysfunction this and more is what we will be discussing about in today's episode are males and females equally affected by thyroid dysfunction well no females are affected more up to 80% than the male population and that is because of the hormonal roller coaster ride that happens in their body between the 30s and 50s can it affect the fertility rate yes it can affect females in the form of lack of libido and messed up period cycle it can be irregular cycle scanty periods missing periods or even mid cycle spotting and when it comes to males it can lead to premature ejaculation or ejaculation dysfunction leading to difficulty in coitus can thyroid dysfunction affect other glands well yes it not just affects the reproductive glands it can also affect joint health gut health brain functioning and skin as a whole is thyroid dysfunction completely reversible well yes if it is diagnosed and treated ayurvedically from the beginning then it can be treated and reversed but if it has been chronic say 15 plus years there has been a lot of complications leading to water retention or water weight then in that case it becomes a tougher task to treat and cure the same nevertheless the symptoms can be treated there can be weight gain improved rate of metabolism better gut function better cognitive and brain functioning and all of these are possible with the help of ayurvedic treatment is synthetic thyroidum pill the only answer for thyroid dysfunction no if you are not willing to make changes to your diet lifestyle and exercise pattern then in that case synthetic thyroidum pill is the answer otherwise if you want to treat it from the root then in that case ayurveda can help you in reversing and curing the condition thyroid dysfunction can be treated just with the help of food well if it is just impaired food habits and junk food that has led to thyroid dysfunction then in that case having a clean diet can help you but if it has been because of impaired sleep cycle hormonal changes other diseases that has led to thyroid dysfunction you are going to need medicines as well can thyroid dysfunction affect the upcoming generations well yes if you have not taken the right kind of treatment or while you have been pregnant if not been having the medication for the same be it ayurvedic medicine or allopathy medicine in the form of synthetic thyroidum pill then in that case it can affect the rate of growth especially the cognitive development of the fetus can a healthy individual get affected by thyroid dysfunction well if you have not been taking care of your diet lifestyle sleep and if you have a genetic predisposition as in somebody in your family has already got thyroid dysfunction then in that case you are also going to be prone to thyroid dysfunction so if you have been wanting to prevent it stick to simpler good food healthy food avoid inflammatory food combinations or virudha har ensure that your circadian rhythm is properly set and if you exercise in the morning not in the evening then in that case you are on the safer side if there are more such basic information that you would like to know about thyroid dysfunction do let me know in the comments and i will be reverting to the same